Next team up. Perfect. Assured insurance, correct? Excellent. Follow me up here. Of course. And just a, a quick uh, tip to the participants, just be sure you, like an ice cream cone, just keep it near your chin as possible so we can all hear you. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Who would like to take the mic and uh, introduce yourselves? Tell us where you're from. Hi, guys. My name is Jackie Liu. I'm a fifth year industrial systems engineering student at the University of Florida. My name's Raj Shah. Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> Where'd you go? What's the oh, I'm from the University of Florida also. Go Gators. <laughs> you good? Okay. You ready for us to start time? Hi everyone, my name is Jackie and my partner and I, Raj and I, have had a great time here at Palm Coast developing solutions for y'all and we really wanted to tailor a product for you guys. So we've identified that the majority of the population here are senior citizens, but additionally after speaking with some staff, we are also seeing that there are many new um, young families that are also developing here. So healthcare is an, a, a crucial part of everybody no matter what part of the the diversity spectrum you are part of. But we wanted to take it a step further and talk about healthcare insurance literacy. So um, this issue is especially important to uh, Palm Coast because it's been identified that both senior citizens and also young adults are the most prone to being uh, the most illiterate in terms of um, healthcare insurance literacy. Now, what is uh, this topic I'm talking about? Well, um, when you're when you receive a medical bill and you get uh, a lot of jargon and also billing codes that you don't understand, you, uh, you feel helpless and a lot of frustration and you don't really understand what's going on. So we uh, wanted to um, help uh, those who are facing this kind of issue. So those who are healthcare uh, insurance literate um, will often not even have insurance in the first place, but uh, even those who do have insurance will, uh, will often not be utilizing their insurance um, as optimally as possible. I'm not using the annual checkups, but sometimes I'm not even using their um, urgent care because they believe that it is uh, too pricey. So uh, this chart here is saying that 30% of adults who even do have insurance are often found to not even uh, going to receive medical care because they believe it's too costly. So how do we resolve this for the residents of Palm Coast? So we believe that the combination of two things, Educational insight and financial assistance. So, um, as I said earlier, empowering those to understand what is um, going on with your medical bill and also helping those understand if you're overpaying for um, your services and helping dispute these kind of claims with your insurance. So, that's where Assured Insurance comes in. Assured Insurance is a website where clients can visit and learn more about the healthcare industry, what claims are, and if they're potentially overpaying. But we didn't want to just give them bodies of text. We also wanted to um, implement data so that they could make smarter decisions. That's why our website comes with a Tableau dashboard that identifies how different um, states have people pay different amounts for the healthcare that they're receiving, for the treatments that they're undergoing, and also within your own state, how people around you. But we felt like there was a step further that we could take this. So that's why we used the Salesforce Einstein bot to implement a chat program where users could input their information about where they're from, and what type of treatment they're undergoing, and the chatbot can inform them, hey, you might be potentially overpaying compared to the average person in your same situation. Here's how I can help. So here, Jackie's going to do a quick little demo. So onto our demo here, we have our website, and a lot of this information will be helping those understand uh, what I already said in terms of um, healthcare insurance literacy and helping them understand the significance of it. Uh, additionally, it will also provide you steps on how to create a dispute email to uh, help uh, reduce the cost of your medical claims. And um, at the bottom, we also have a visualization to help you understand how much you're paying um, the average cost in your state and also neighboring states as well. And additionally, um, as Raj said, we have a chat bot that helps you understand um, a, a very user-friendly experience to understand um, with user uh, input data about where you're from, how much you're paying, and what kind of billing codes you're um, also receiving to understand um, if you're um, overpaying or underpaying compared to the average and um, help you write a dispute email from that. So that's our project, and that's what we worked on. We have some next steps planned, making the bot better, making our website more accessible, but that's, in short, Assured Insurance. Thank you. Great job. That is time.
Judges, who would like to ask the first question? Okay. What, what kind of liability do you think you would be liable for if you make uh, if the bot makes a wrong recommendation or a bad recommendation? So the bot is when it makes its recommendation, it's framed to be as non-political and as non-obtuse as possible. We think you might be um, in, like being overpaid. Here's a possible way to send in a dispute email, and the steps are very polite. The clients never asked to like attack the insurance company or sue the insurance company or anything. So we think, in terms of liability, we'll be safe. Very hot topic, and it's going to get hotter. So you're on the right track. <laughs> the the comment that I have is so for a patient with insurance, how much they pay for it obviously depends on the type of insurance product, and then right. whatever um, the health provider is is also charging. Correct. Yes. How do you, how are you going to define that? when there's many different insurance products out there? So the best way to accomplish this is going to be with more data. If you have more access to what other people are paying and what providers they have, what insurance companies they go through, then you can give to the person, if this is answering your question. So, so the data is really coming from people participating and voluntarily share the information. That is one way to get information. But also, this information is already out there. Hospitals have records of who's paying through what, and some of it's slowly coming out. Right now, we have a massive data set from Medicare from 2016 that we use. But if we are able to get data sets from other insurance providers, then we can make this more robust and more accurate. Of these upcoming features that uh, you say can potentially be implemented, is there one that stands out from the rest that you think would be most critical for adoption of your application? Honestly, the data that we just talked about, just making sure that we can provide more accurate information. That way, it's less controversial and less liable, and also it can provide more help. Thank you. So is there any plan to collect more reliable data? I know you guys talked about data that is existing, but we know those data are not necessarily fully reliable. Is there any thoughts on how to collect reliable data? Um, the plan would be for this to be a website where people would not only, as you were saying earlier, people would participate and input their own data. And even in the future, having a mobile application, just making this more accessible and in more places around the world. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.